Hi, this is the third class about vernier calipers. Here I would like to, uh, in this class we will be discussing some problems. Before that I would like to bring some points into your notice. The first thing, look at this diagram. Why a vernier caliper is not designed like this? Look, what the specialty of this design is. The zero stands on the same jawline of the head scale as well as zero of the vernier jaw line zero of the vernier falls on the jaw line of the vernier if that were the way of design we would exp we would feel that when they are brought together there will be no uh, requirement of applying zero error so we can totally avoid the concept of zero error won't it be? No, it is not so. Why? See, whenever we bring these two zeros together, they won't be on the same line. Why? It is as if a crack has been ha happened on a metal sheet. So there is a minimum hairline spacing in between them. And so you cannot expect zero to exactly coincide with the other zero. So uh, to make the result more exact, what we what the designers do is they keep some space here as well as here and tolerate some error and later we apply some correction. So that's why the calipers are not designed like this. Okay. Now the second thing regarding equations, we have to remember while doing problems uh, related to vernier caliper uh, you have to remember there is the normal vernier caliper and the retrograde or retro vernier caliper but see there may not be any mentioning about the name retrograde vernier caliper they will simply say that main scale division is smaller than vernier scale division or in the question they it will be mentioned that uh, uh, 10 vernier scale division is equivalent to 11 main scale division so we have to take that it is a retrograde vernier calipers okay so problem can be asked even from retrograde vernier caliper okay so the uh, only few things you have to remember for normal vernier caliper msd greater than vsd so least count must be msd minus vsd okay to make it positive here for the retro vernier caliper VSD greater than MSD so least count must be VSD minus MSD to again to retain it positive and to find the length the, when we measure the length the equation length is equal to main scale reading plus least count into coinciding vernier division here you have to remember the main scale reading must be smaller one when it falls between between two confining confinement you have to take the smaller confinement value Okay, uh, whereas here equation is MSR minus least count into co uh, coinciding vernier division. Uh, but again you, have to, again, you have to remember that the main scale reading must be the larger one. Whether the sign is positive or negative, you have to take mathematically smaller value here, mathematically larger value there, including the sign. Okay, then you must also be aware of how to apply negative zero error and a positive zero error. These are the mathematical sides you have to remember by heart. Uh, always remember you thoroughly un follow, understand the theory which we already explained and then make this, these equations by heart and directly apply. You have to remember one thing, in the objective model entrance examination hall, you won't get time to start thinking from the root and come to the point and then solve the problem so once you learn make it perfect then make equations by heart and immediately apply that's the only way to save time okay now we'll start doing some problems one by one okay okay here is our first problem n divisions capital N divisions on the main scale of a vernier calipers coincide with the 
n plus 1 divisions on the vernier scale. If each division on the main scale is a unit, determine the least count of the device. This question was asked IIT, then it was I think IIT only. IIT 2003. It was a non-objective type question, but uh, I have converted that to an objective type. It is not a, even though it is a uh, IIT question, it is based on the normal regular information. So we will uh, do that. Look here. Options are given. Let it be there. See, here it is mentioned that n main scale divisions coincide with the n plus 1 Vernier scale division means Vernier scale division is smaller than main scale division. So it is a normal Vernier calipers. See how we solve this. Main, here main scale division greater than Vernier scale division. So it is a normal Vernier caliper. Then given n plus 1 Vernier scale division is equal to n main scale division. Agreed. N1 and main scale division. So, where 1 Vernier scale division is equal to n divided by n plus 1 main scale division. And each main scale division is given to be small a unit. So, converting that into length, we get n by n plus 1 into MSD which is a. n into a by n plus 1 unit. Now, we know least count is main scale division minus vernier scale division. Main scale division is A, vernier scale division is N into A by N plus 1. Okay. A minus N by N plus 1 A. You take A outside. So 1 minus N by N plus 1 in the denominator. Take N plus 1 the common denominator. Then after simplification it become A divided by n plus 1. So, dog is the answer. I think it is very easy. Any student who understood the theory can easily answer this. Okay. We will proceed to the next one. Second question. A vernier calipers a vernier calipers has 1 millimeter marks on the main scale. A vernier calipers has 1 millimeter mark on the main scale. 20 vernier divisions matches with the 16 main scale divisions. The least count of the devices. Four options are given. It is not at all different from the previous type of question, previous question. Here the numerical values are given in the previous n and plus 1 a are given. That's the only difference. Uh, one more thing you have to remember. You have to remember number of Vernier scale division and number of main scale division need not always differ by 1. For example, here it is 16 and 20. Okay. Now we will check. 1 main scale division 1 millimeter. Here also main scale division is greater than Vernier scale division because 16, 20. So main scale division is bigger. Given 20 Vernier scale division is equal to 16 main scale division. So 1 Vernier scale division. Uh, 16 by 20 main scale division, 16 by 20 into 1, 16 by 20 means 4 by 5 or 8 by 10, means 0 0.8, uh, eight. so 0 0.8 into 1, 0 0.8 uh, millimeter. Now simply this count is equal to main scale, this is a normal uh, Vernier scale, normal type, normal Vernier scale, caliper. Main scale division minus Vernier scale, uh, scale division. 1 millimeter minus 0.8 millimeter, 0 0.2 millimeter. So here also the answer is D. Okay. Here we have the third question. Uh, the diameter of a cylinder is measured using a vernier calipers with a no zero error. Zero of the vernier scale. Uh, comes uh, sort of the vernier scale comes in between 5.10 centimeter and 5.15 centimeter of the main scale okay comes between 5.10 and 5.15 centimeter of the main scale 
the vernier scale has 50 divisions and equivalent to 2.45 cm the 24th vernier division coincides exactly with the one of the main scale divisions the diameter of the cylinder is four values are given iit 2013 see the problem is a bit lengthy with uh, much of information but those who have understood the basics will find no difficulty in solving this problem it is not complicated at all we will check okay see uh, one more thing uh, there are two types of problem related to vernier calipers one involved the diagram other does not involve diagram and all informations are given in statement when all information are given in statement problem of going wrong is more so you must be more careful when there is no diagram is given okay here see first we want to know main scale division length see here main scale division length is not given directly instead they have mentioned about two adjacent main scale division values and we know main scale division length will be the difference between two adjacent main scale divisions if you read the question they are telling that uh, adjacent main scale divisions 5.10 and 5.15 so first thing here main scale division difference between two adjacent main scale divisions here msd means length of msd don't get confused here length of m when we simply write msd we mean length of msd so msd is the difference between two adjacent main scale divisions so 5.15 minus 5.10 0 0.15 centimeter okay now vernier scale division here they have presented vernier scale division also in a different way they have mentioned how many subdivisions are there and they simply mentioned it's a total length so we can get the vernier scale divisions length by dividing the total length with the number of divisions approach is a bit different that's all so vernier scale division number of divisions divided by uh, number of division tot i'm sorry total length by number of division i wrote it in the opposite way total length by number of division total length by number of divisions okay total length given is 2.45 and number of division is mentioned to be 50 2.45 by 50 4.9 you double both for easy conversion don't go to divide with the 5 easier to multiply both numerator and denominator with the 2 these are simple things you have to take care to save more time when you will solve problems so 4.90 by 100 is equal to 0 0.049 0 0.049 0 0.490 okay why this value has three significant figures so you can retain three significant figures in the final value also now least count least count. see now we know main scale division value vernier scale division value so least count will be what main scale division value minus vernier scale division value 0 0.05 minus 0 0.049 0 0.001 centimeter reason main scale division bigger than vernier scale division so normal vernier scale so you have to multiply uh, subtract least count is msd minus vsd least count msd minus v v vsd VSD is equal to 0 0.05 minus uh, 0 0.049 you got that value so diameter now we have to use this information in the final equation diameter of the cylinder MSD main scale division small plus least count into coinciding vernier division the two confining now values are 5.10 and 5.15 among them the smaller one because it's a normal vernier caliper so 5.10 plus 0 0.001 into 24 coinciding vernier division is mentioned in the question to be 24 we have already found the uh, least count to be 0 0.001 so 5.10 plus 0 0.024 
you get 5.124 centimeter. See one more thing I have to tell you. Here we should not think oh this is having three uh, see, two decimal significant figures. Here it is having three decimal significant figures. Should we uh, round off then to two decimal significant figure? No. This is a different case. Here you are finding out the next decimal figure also and then only you are introducing this further so in vernier calipers application problems don't think about rounding off because you are fine see we usually drop numbers because we are not sure about the figure there but here we are determining that number so it is not what non-significant it is significant okay so don't uh, blindly apply the rule of rounding of here here the last significant figure is retained so the final length is 5.124 centimeter b is the answer hope you understood that okay see the next problem it is not a numerical problem logical or theoretical what is Vernier constant? Okay. A. Value of one main scale division divided by total number of divisions on the main scale division. No. Value of one Vernier scale division divided by total number of divisions on the Vernier scale. That is also not correct. Difference between main scale division and Vernier scale division. Yeah. Least count is main scale division value minus Vernier scale division value. C. Correct. Least count of the Vernier calipers. Yeah. That is also correct. So, there are in this question there are two answers. You may add a, a, a next one. Uh, next correct one. One main scale division divided by number of divisions on the vernier scale okay that is also correct so here we have more than one answer okay okay the fifth sixth problem the length of a metal strip was separately measured using two vernier scales both with a no zero error okay for the first scale 10 msd is equal to 9 vsd and for the second scale 10 vsd is equal to 11 msd okay this is 9 msd 9 MSD is equal to 10 VSD and for the second scale 10 VSD is equal to 11 MSD. In both cases main scale reading was between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. If coinciding vernier division for the first is 4, coinciding vernier division for the second is. Okay. Don't get confused. We will check. See, we are measuring the same length using two scale okay so result must be the same that's the first point now in both cases the main scale reading is between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 centimeter so main scale divisions value will be bit uh, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3 the nearest main scale values its difference will be the least kind for the main scale okay Main scale division both 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3.1 centimeter. Now we think separately for both scale. Scale 1. Here 10 vernier scale division is equal to 9 main scale division. So it is a normal caliper, normal vernier calipers. So 1 VSD is equal to 9 by, we have done this several times, 9 by 10 MSD is equal to 0.9 into 0.1. MSD is 0.1. So 0 0.09 centimeter. Okay. So least count what? Main scale division minus vernier scale division. 0.1 minus 0 0.09, 0 0.01 centimeter. Now think about the second scale. Scale 2. 
here 10 VSD is equal to 11 MSD means vernier scale division is larger so it is the retro type name will not be mentioned but we must understand so 1 VSD 11 by 10 MSD is equal to uh, uh, 1 point uh, I mean 11 by 10 that is 1.1 into 0.1 so 0.11 centimeter so what is least count here you have to remember bigger minus smaller is VSD minus, VSD minus MSD 0.11 minus 0.1 again 0.01 centimeter okay so we got the uh, uh, watch least count for the both now we substitute length measured must be the same for both so on one side we have the equation MSD small plus least count into coinciding vernier division that is length for the retro type MSD large minus least count into coinciding vernier division. MSD small must be taken 0.3 out of 0.3 and 0 0.4 0 0.3 must be taken 0 0.3 plus 0 0.01 here the coinciding vernier division has been given as 4 in the question 4 is only 0 0.4 the larger value minus the same 0 0.01 into x okay simplification take 0 0.3 to the other side so 0 0.4 minus uh, 0 0.4 uh, you take uh, first we add this I'm sorry first we add this 0.3 plus 0.01 into 4 is 0 0.34 okay so 0 0.34 is equal to 0.4 minus 0 0.01x okay 0.1x now you take 0.34 to the other side and 0.01x to this side so what happened Zero, uh, 0.4 minus 0 .03, uh, 0 0.34 is equal to 0 0.06 is equal to 0 0.01x therefore x is equal to 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.01 is equal to 6 so our answer is 6 hope you understood that next question the angle of a prism is measured using a spectrometer the main scale reading is 58.5 degree and vernier scale reading is 9 divisions. One division of main scale is 0 0.5 degree and 30 vernier scale division is equivalent to 29 main scale division. The angle of the prism is, so it is a circular type vernier scale, okay. That's why it is connected to, because it is connected to angle, okay. See, four options are given. It is a triple A question in 2012. See, these things are all sure indirect way of asking question. Okay. We will collect the data. Main scale division value. Is that given in the question? Yes. Main scale is 0 0.5 degree. Again, given 30 vernier scale division, 29 main scale division is given in the question. So, 1 vernier scale division, 29 by 30 main scale division, 29 by 30.5 degree. We know 5 degree, 0.5 degree is 30 minutes. So, 29 by 30 into 30 is equal to 29 minutes. Okay. Now we will get least count. Least count is main scale division minus vernier. It is a normal type because MST greater than VSD. Main scale division minus vernier scale division. 0.5 degree minus 29 uh, minutes or 30 degree minus 29 minutes is 1 degree. Now we directly apply angle of prism. The normal equation. Main scale reading plus least count into coinciding vernier division. Main scale reading is given in the question. 58.5 degree least count is 1 minute coinciding vernier division mentioned in the question 9 so 58.5 we have to convert minute back to degree 1 degree is 1 by 60 minute into 9 is equal to 58.5 plus 0 0.15 is equal to 58.65 degree so answer is C okay The next problem. In a vernier calipers, there are 10 divisions on the on the main scale, 10 divisions on the vernier scale, 
such that 10 VSD is equal to 9 MSD. 1 centimeter of main scale is divided to 10 parts. While measuring a length of length, zero of the vernier scale lies ahead of 1.8 centimeter on the main scale and coinciding vernier division is 4. The length of the the length of the length is the length is the men, item is not mentioned so the length is okay you are given four options we will uh, analyze the data see main scale division they have in the question mentioned one centimeter divided into 10 equal portion so one main scale division is equal to one centimeter by 10.1 centimeter Again, they have given as usual 10 main scale, 10 vernier scale division, 9 main scale division. So, 1 vernier scale division, 9 by 10 MSD, 0.9 into 0.1, 0 0.9. These are uh, as usual. These count MSD minus VSD, 0.1 minus 0 0.09, 0 0.01 centimeter. Okay. Now, length. See, in the question, it is mentioned that uh, the vernier 0 is a head of 0 1.8 uh, in the main scale means it is between 1.8 and 1.9 so we have to choose the lower value so msd lower since it is a head of uh, 1.8 means it means it comes between 1.8 and 1.9 so the lower is 1.8 so 1.8 plus least count 0 0.01 Coinciding vernier division is mentioned in the question to be 4. So 1.8 into 0 0.01 into 4, 1.84 centimeter. Now look into the options 1.804 centimeter, 1.840 centimeter, 1.800 centimeter. None of this. This is where they play trick on the student. See, you may, some people, at least some students will think 1.840 centimeter is the answer. No. It is 1.84 only. There is no third decimal figure measured. It is impossible with this device. So you cannot have a more precise answer than two decimal figure. So the 840 is wrong. So answer is none of this. This is where pure logic students have to apply. Okay. Regarding significant figures, etc. Okay. Uh, don't uh, see in the previous problem I told you the number of in, increase in number of figure but there we have to remember maximum permitted number is using a Vernier scale is two decimal only not three okay in this case so it is three one point eight one decimal was already there the second we found using the Vernier scale okay so one point eight four centimeter is the possible answer here we will do one more problem. Okay. The last problem. Uh, before that, you have to remember one thing. If the main scale reading provides one decimal figure, Vernier would contribute one more. So, there will be two decimal figure. If the main scale contributes two decimal figure, Vernier will contribute one more. And so, the total number of decimal figure will be 3 that is added to the previous problem okay now the last problem the diagonal of a metal plate was measured using a vernier scale diagonal of a square metal plate square metal plate was measured using a vernier scale in the case of uh, uh, unloaded vernier scale zero of the vernier was beyond minus one centimeter to the left of the main scale and coinciding vernier division was 3. Here 11 main scale division was 10 vernier scale division. The main scale reading was a head of 0 0.7 cm. Further coinciding vernier division was 5. The total surface area of the metal plate with a negligible thickness is. Options are not given. Look here. See here the scale holds the uh, metal plates like this 
डायगनल इज मेशेड ओके डायगनल लेंथ इज मेशेड ओके ओके वी प्रोसीड स्टेप बाय स्टेप मेन स्केल डिविशन सी मेन स्केल वैल्यूज आर एक्सप्रेस्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ पॉइंट वन ले पॉइंट वन पॉइंट सेवेन एट्सेट्रा सो द स्मॉलेस्ट मेन स्केल डिविशन इज सिरो पॉइंट वन सेंटीमीटर इट्सेल now again they have given 10 vernier scale division 11 main scale division so one way when uh, vernier scale division is 11 by 10 main scale division 0.11 cm means vernier scale division is bigger than the main scale division actually it is the retrograde type so least count vernier scale division minus main scale division 0.11 minus 0.1 0.01 a normal problem okay now we have to apply in this problem we have to apply zero error also please take it a bit standard problem zero error you have to remember it is the retro vernier scale so what is the equation for uh, zero error calculation main scale reading higher minus least count into coinciding vernier division see in the statement it is mentioned that in the unloaded vernier scale zero of the vernier stands beyond to the left ma, my, beyond minus 0.1 so between minus 0.1 and minus 0.2 higher values minus 0.1 mathematically smaller negative value is the bigger value so minus 0.1 is the main scale reading okay main scale reading and least count we have already found 0.01 the sign is negative being retro and third coinciding vernier division So zero error we have found to be a negative value minus zero point one three. Okay, let it be there. Now we find the diagonal length. Diagonal length here in the second measurement they have given uh, the main scale reading is a head of a head means to the right a head of point seven. So between point seven and point eight again you have to being retro you have to use the higher value. So point eight. Main scale reading minus least count say zero point zero one. Here the fifth division is coinciding. Okay, now itself we apply the zero error. You have to always remember uh, zero is, error is always subtracted. So minus minus zero point one three. Okay, so that gives you zero point eight eight centimeter. If you check zero point eight eight centimeter. Now we want total surface area. We know that for a square shape. Diagonal by root two is a diagonal by root two is side. Okay, so a square my means diagonal by root two square. Okay, diagonal by root two square. But for metal plate there are two surfaces. Okay, thickness is ignored. So the total surface area will be a square into two or two into d by root two square. So total surface area two into a square, two into d by root two square is equal to two into d square by root two square is equal to two. Two two cancel. Zero point eight eight square. Uh, you are permitted only two decimal figure. You will get a value more than two decimal figure. You have to round it off. It was zero point seven seven four four in calculator. So it is rounded off to zero point seven seven centimeter square. So the answer is zero point. Seven seven centimeter square. Hope you have a fairly good idea regarding uh, Vernier scale and uh, its appli its uh, application in solving problems. Take care. Bye.